Good morning, happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day. I've been busy this morning getting some stuff completed, finished, bugs at the salon, <laughs> getting his feet, face, and fanny treatment. And Bug has a little issue that I'll talk about here in a little bit, poor Bug. But I did want to mention something about the wallpaper. So we ordered wallpaper online at the Home Depot and they pick the wallpaper for you because it was in the store. We ordered more for the other two bedrooms and we ordered it online and it's coming directly from the supplier we just found out today. Be very careful and cautious when you're putting up wallpaper that it's the right sheen, they match, and the right color. Because we have one, two, three, three uh, strips of it up. I went to put, use another roll. The sheen is different. What is up on the wall is flat. The new sheen was kind of like a glossier look. Then I opened the next roll and that's a different color. <laughs> I'm checking the boxes to see the difference between the between them. Three were made in the UK and one in the US, but why is my face looking so <laughs> oh, glossy? What's up? I think the maybe the best thing to do is order it directly from the supplier. That's probably the best because Hopefully they'll give us all one run. I hope that makes sense. And finally, bugs problem. I was, I was, I actually sent a video. Gosh, my face, what is up? I sent a video around to the, ki <laughs> the kids. <laughs> bugs losing his hair. <laughs> he has like three hairs left on his tail. I'm not sure what, what's happening between Rob, myself, and Bug. But Rob had kidney issues, then I had kidney issues. I have an autoimmune disease. Bug now ha has an autoimmune disease, that's what they think. He was on prednisone, I'm constantly on prednisone. Now Bug's, I lost my hair, now Bug's losing his hair. I mean, he's losing his hair. Like, I can't explain how much hair I find everywhere. But you can literally take hair, you can pull hair right out of them. It's not the normal shedding, trust me. There are hairballs on every step, everywhere. Let me just share a picture of his little tail. I feel bad for him. Anyway, I took him to the pet salon and said, can we just kind of even him out so I know he doesn't care what he looks like but I always think does he feel bad <laughs> his tail looks like a rat tail anyway I'm hoping to get all that straightened out so that's good and I have to call the vet the, actually the vet knows I need to make an appointment for him so there you go happy Monday so bug is back from the groomers come here let me see you so she clipped all of the crazy hair and put a little bandana on it. <laughs> so he looks so cute. You look extra cute today. But she kind of clipped his tail a little bit too. So you have to go to the doctor. Oh, you don't want to see mom anymore. So I ran back to the Home Depot with the rolls that did not match. And then I took a little sample of what is on the wall now, I unrolled a couple of the rolls, made sure that it was the right sheen and the right color. So, fingers crossed that they match and let's get busy. We were admiring the wallpaper until Rob pointed something out that is so, no <laughs> so noticeable. <laughs> when using wallpaper, that has bold lines running horizontally. It's best if the lines run level <laughs> across the wall. <laughs> These tend to have a little trending down line. 
Not not good. No bueno. And it was my idea to pick this wallpaper out. So. Let, let, let's show you what's happening here. So, yeah. You might have to show it from back there. Yeah, I am. I am. So, over here, way, way up here, I drew a level line, a level mark. Vertical. Yeah, vertical. And then the next sheet of paper, Rob just asked me, did you draw a line? And I, I did not. We went with with the door frame, expecting that the door frame was to level, be level vertically. And, and it's it's not. It's <laughs> so, I laugh when when things go wrong. If you've noticed, so Rob pointed out that this line to the top molding, and then this line is off. Would you say three quarters of an inch? Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 and by the time we get to the end of the wall, it will be an inch over there. So I'm pondering, I think what I'm just going to do is take it, take all of the sheets down. But the thing is, is that they're all cut. That's okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, this is becoming <laughs> a nightmare. So Somewhat of a meltdown, I have the first piece in line. Let me show you what I'm doing. It's always hard, especially when you're trying to work around a door and everything else, but let me show you. This is what I do. I'm not an expert, but I've hung a lot of wallpaper in my life, and yeah, let me show you. I drew a line down the side, so this is, this is straight. This is level. What I'm also doing is taking my measuring tape and going from here at the top and then measuring if this is five and a 16th or five and an eighth. I know I want that line to be right there. I'm doing the same over there. I'm making sure that that is also five and a 16 or five and an eighth. Then around doors. One thing I'm going to say about doors is this might not be level. So I always overlap the seam above because I don't want to butt the seam up even though this seam ends right here. I don't want to run that seam perfectly all the way down because it could be that this is not level so then you'll be have a big gap here. So I tend to overlap here and then trim. It's a lot easier trimming than it is filling in. I hope that makes sense. This piece is almost completed. Remember I overlapped that edge. Well, as you can see, I'm gonna have to trim some of that off, but because this frame is not straight, it's off by about maybe a 16th of an inch as we go down here. At the very end, I'm going to cut a very thin piece Pull this away and then tuck it underneath and you'll never be able to see it. I'm also measuring from the very ceiling, I measured down to about here and here and it's all perfectly, perfectly straight. I get a lot of questions about wallpapering and how hard it is. I don't wanna say it's hard because it's not. It can be challenging because you have to take into consideration these types of things, but usually when you do it once, you can fly right through it. And I am here to encourage you guys to try it. If you guys are scared of wallpapering, but are wanting to do it, do it. You can do it. I promise you. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm a hundred percent certain of that. I had a lot of questions if we made sure the lot numbers matched. And yes, we went package to package to package, making sure everything matched. Everything, 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 everything matches. But <laughs> the wallpaper itself. 
so we just ripped it down. We've got another pattern coming in that we're that's all coming from the supplier directly. So Rob goes, let's just chalk this up to a learning experience. So don't do what the Sidrons did. We did everything right. It just didn't work. <laughs> 